This video will demonstrate best practices for installing and aligning retro-reflective and through-beam photo eyes to reduce nuisance interruptions caused by environmental factors. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Please consult the manual for complete instructions and safety information. Our LMTBU and LMRRU kits are supplied with hardware that helps you easily adjust the position and angle of our photoelectric sensors. The LMTBU has an emitter with a blue LED that is on when powered, and a receiver that has a red LED when misaligned, and a blue LED when aligned. The LMRRU has a reflector and a sensor that both emits and receives a light beam. The red LED is lit when misaligned, and the blue LED is lit when aligned. The light beam emitted by the sensors has a sweet spot at the center. Starting out with sensors that are mounted level speeds up the alignment process. You'll rotate the sensor to the left and right to find the outer boundaries of the beam and then choose the sweet spot in the center. Alignment in the sweet spot reduces nuisance misalignments due to factors like fog, rain, and vibration. Here are some best practices for preparing your installation. Make sure there will be a clear line of sight between the sensors free of obstructions like tall grass. Follow UL325 guidelines for mounting, no higher than 27 inches above ground level and no farther than 3.5 inches from the vertical plane of the gate. Do not mount the brackets to surfaces that vibrate or are unstable. Do not permanently weld or screw brackets into position until after alignment is complete. Use this method to assemble and align LMRRU Retro Reflector Kits. Measure and mark the location for the sensor. Attach the bracket with the provided screws. Tighten the center hole screw, but leave the curved hole screw loose enough for adjustment. Level the bracket with a bubble level, then secure the screw in the curved hole. Use a line level to locate the height of the reflector bracket. Attach the reflector bracket just above this height. With the gate closed, measure 3.5 inches from the gate to the reflector hood. The holes closest to this measurement are where you will attach the reflector. Use the provided hardware to attach the reflector. For the next steps, make sure the gate is open. Attach the hood to the sensor and assemble into the bracket using the provided hardware. Make sure the sharp side of the lock washer is facing the bracket. Loosely hand tighten the retaining nut. With the gate operator powered on, wire the sensor to the gate operator following the instructions in the manual. To watch a video about wiring sensors, click the info icon at the top of the screen. If the sensor is aligned, the blue LED will be lit. Rotate the sensor to the right and left until the red LED lights in each direction. This indicates misalignment. Rotate the sensor to the sweet spot in the center of these two positions. The sensor is now aligned. Hand tighten the retaining nut, then use a wrench to secure with one half turn. Do not over tighten. Finish by attaching the conduit, screwing the watertight fitting into the inner thread of the sensor. Watertight fittings are not included with the kit so you'll need to supply them. Installing the LMTBU through beam kit is similar. Mount and level the bracket for the emitter following the previous instructions. Use a line level to locate the receiver at the same height as the emitter. A clamp is helpful for making adjustments. Attach the receiver bracket with screws and then level the bracket using a bubble level. Tighten the screws. Open the gate if it isn't already open. Assemble the hoods to the sensors and mount them to the brackets, hand tightening the provided hardware. Make sure the gate operator is powered on. When you wire the emitter, the blue LED will light. When you wire the receiver, the red LED may light if the sensors are not aligned. Rotate the receiver to the right and left until the red LED lights in each direction. This indicates misalignment. Rotate the sensor to the sweet spot in the center of these two positions. The sensors are now aligned. Hand tighten the retaining nuts,
then use a wrench to secure with one half turn. Do not over tighten. Finish by attaching the conduit, screwing the watertight fittings into the inner threads of the sensors. It is strongly recommended that you test the gate operator to ensure that vibrations and gate movement do not cause changes in alignment. You should do this before welding or making any permanent connections. Thanks for watching and remember to visit us on the web at liftmaster.com or the dealer extranet.